In 1997, an extraordinary event took place. A million and a quarter men, promise keepers, gathered to the mall in Washington, D.C. to pray for this nation. That on September 2nd, the year 2000, 450,000 young people primarily gathered to fast and pray for 12 hours. Out of promise keepers came this movement called The Call, and for 24 years, there have been gatherings in stadiums and arenas across the nation and in the nations of the earth that I believe has been mounting up a prayer storm that maybe now we will begin to see the answer to those cries. And then 2017, I had a dream. And in that dream, as far and wide as I could see, women were coming everywhere to hear the book of Esther be taught. I'm the only man in that crowd with my assistant. He gives me an old Bible. It's the call of Mordecai to mobilize what I'm looking at. The movement was filled with a sense of revival. And in the dream, a woman stands up and she says these two words in the book of Esther actually mean Nazgul. I exploded out of the dream instantly knowing what it meant because I watched the third part of the Lord of the Rings where the Nazgul witch king is destroying the armies of men and he says, no man can kill me. But the king's daughter takes off her helmet, lets her hair down and says, I am no man. And she pierces the Nazgul witch king. I wake up and I know the Lord is saying, there is coming a righteous women's movement that is going to gain authority in America over principalities and powers, ideologies that are seeking to destroy the children of this nation. Then I begin to hear of this Her Voice movement, the woman named Jenny Darnley, and she was hearing about what I was calling for. And we joined together in 2022. We began dreaming about a million women on the mall in DC. The movement was initiated. And now we have come to 2024 and we're calling a million women to the mall in D.C. to finish what was started. Esther was raised up at a time that if there wasn't a ship, they would lose the whole nation. We're calling every man of Mordecai, every woman in Esther, come to the mall on the Day of Atonement and dare to believe that God will shift history, save a nation as we pray, fast, and stand on behalf of the children your families, and your nation. So on this day of atonement, where the blood of Jesus is applied to the doorposts of our national guilt, you've come to the defining moment, just like Esther was brought to a defining moment. Will you be there? And you'll say to your children and your grandchildren, we were there when God gathered the Esthers and saved a nation. Don't miss this defining moment for such a time as this, you've been brought into the kingdom.